everybody so today is saturday i actually got up a bit later today because i went to bed so late last night i went to bed at 1 a.m because i wanted to edit yesterday's vlog last night instead of this morning i'm probably gonna be editing them in the morning but i just wanted to get that one done and i was just in the mood to edit it so that was all done i did the thumbnail this morning and i've also like scheduled it did all of the titles descriptions so the vlog for today is ready to go up and i've actually got so much to do today i'm just going to run through with you what i've got to get done i have got a lot to do a lot to edit a lot to record and so yeah let me take you through what i've got to get done so here is a to-do list of everything that I've got to get done today. This isn't necessarily in the order that I've got to get them done, but I firstly want to edit a Patreon series, the one with all of the eyes of the animals in colour pencil. I wanted to edit it yesterday, but I didn't quite get round to it, so I need to get that done today. I am also putting out another video on my main art channel and this is going to be a Prismacolor video versus Polychromos video because I didn't actually realise that I've never done a comparison video on these two brands so I really want to get that done which means I need to actually record the footage for it I haven't got the footage recorded yet and then I'm going to need to edit that video and make the thumbnail for it So like I said I'm just starting off by recording the footage for the main channel video it's probably out for you guys already by the time this vlog goes up so if you want to watch it then it will be on my main art channel and so like I said I'm comparing the Prismacolor pencils and the Polychromos and before each video I like to do any planning that I need to do so for example here I'm writing any notes for things that I know that I want to include any points that I want to make so for example so that I don't miss out on anything that I want to say I just like to jot down the basic things I've just finished doing all of the notes it took me a couple of minutes but I've jotted down everything that's really important that I need to talk about if you guys want to read through these then just pause the video and have a look and it basically sums up what I'm going to be talking about in the video and all of the points that I want to make. What I've just done is I took all of the notes that I made, so all of these main points, and I summed them up into little categories. So I went with 15 different categories, and I'm gonna use this little sort of table to really explain the differences and to make it a lot more sort of organized when I actually explain everything. So I put the main categories down the side, and then I'll use each of the space to obviously explain them and do any little demonstrations that I need to. I've just finished recording all of the footage for the tutorial video so I filled in the whole of this table and yeah it went really well. I decided not to actually voice as I did it because I think I'm going to be speeding bits like this up a little bit so obviously I'm going to have to voice over those bits anyway so it made more sense just to voice over the whole thing but now I'm going to transfer the footage for this and start editing it. I'm now quickly just taking a photo for the thumbnail and I really like having this blurred background effect. I just think it really makes the pencil stand out. The sort of vision that I'm having for the thumbnail is I wanna be holding a polychromos pencil and a Prismacolor pencil going like opposite each other. And then I want it to say something like Prismacolor versus Polychromos. And I want it to be really sharp with the pencil and then the background to be blurred because I think it really adds depth to the actual thumbnail and it's easier to spot and it stands out more. So that's why I really like using the DSLR camera to get my thumbnails for this because it just gets it really, really nice and really clear high quality photos for the thumbnails and if any of you guys want to do you know make videos it's really important that you do have high quality thumbnails it is one of the most important things that you need thumbnails and titles also for all of you guys that are thinking about making videos or want to start a channel and you want to record a lot of your real time drawings and then speed up the footage, it's really important that you don't necessarily put them on your actual computer. Try to work just from external hard drives, otherwise if you have a large amount of files saved onto your computer, it really really does slow up your PC. Today's video should actually be quite easy to edit and record over because I haven't got many different things to speed up. I've just got to do the intro outro which I always have and then I put the drawing footage in the middle I include some overlays for example if it's a tutorial I include like a patreon overlay with my the website address for my patreon so I first just get all of the files that I need in a folder on my hard drive so I can just import them directly into Premiere Pro that's the video editing software that I'm using for anyone that was asking yesterday 
Now, a lot of the time with colour pencils, I like to blend with solvent. And so it's really important for me that my colour pencils work well with solvent. But in this case, both of them do work great with solvent. You can see that I'm going to lay a few colours and show you just a little quick demonstration of what results you can get with solvent using this. I've just finished the voiceover and it took a lot longer than it usually does today. Just the words weren't coming out, but that's okay. It took a bit longer, but at least it's done. And now I'm just going to just check all the audio, make sure it's okay, and then export it and work on the thumbnail next. So I've just uploaded another vlog. I actually got really worried because for about 10, 15 minutes, it wasn't showing up in the upload section. It wasn't showing up in any of the subscription boxes or notifications. And I was really worried that I'd have to re-upload it all again. And that was gonna take a lot longer, but I kept switching it from private to public and then it eventually showed up. Darby's been working really hard on a website. For me, it's really important important that I've got somewhere as like a hub that anyone could go to if for example YouTube went down or basically I don't want to be reliant on a platform I want my own hub my own website and I haven't actually built one until now and I think it's something that I really need to prioritize so that's what Darby's doing he's working really hard and it's looking really good I want a nice simple design a black and white design with like pops of teal and turquoise colors i think it will look really nice and it's just somewhere people can go to for like more information about courses patreon any of my prints that they want and basically anything any information about anything that i do it will all be like on there in one place I've just finished making the thumbnail for the new video on my main channel. You can see that it works really nicely having the pencils really, really like in focus and then having that blurred background. It really gives it that sort of 3D look and gives depth to the thumbnail. So we're just heading off to get dinner. I put the video up on my main channel and I wanted to take a little break. And because I feel, feel like I've been working really hard, I decided that I'd allow myself to have a McDonald's today. I haven't actually had one for a while. So we're just gonna pick up the McDonald's, then go to my house, my parents' house, and I'm going to pick up my camera because that's arrived. They messaged me saying that that's come. So I'm really excited to have a look at that. It's gonna be the new vlogging camera because at the moment I'm just using my phone. So I'm gonna set that up, show you guys that later when I get back and um, we're just gonna have a nice chat and talk to my parents whilst we're eating dinner so that'll be nice a nice little break and then I'm gonna get back and record the not record edit the patreon tutorial series a large chicken legend meal can I get a large chicken legend meal with Pepsi Pepsi um, and that's spicy barbecue man uh, okay. yeah Bar barbecue please barbecue. Um, yep. cheeseburger uh, a single cheeseburger and a dairy milk with flurry with extra dairy milk bits. And a and, and a dairy milk milk flurry ever. with extra dairy milk bits. Yummy, 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 yummy. Oh, we do this too often. It's the best. I order the same thing every single time. Chicken legend, dairy milk with flurry, extra dairy milk bits. It's just the best. So boring. It's not boring. <laughs> I See, the problem with you is you experiment so much, but then you have stuff that you don't like, whereas I know I'm going to enjoy it every single time. I would much rather experiment and get different things and know what I like and dislike and just go for the same well, stuff every single time. I do sometimes try something new. It's like when we have an Indian, I always get a chicken korma or a chicken rogan josh because yeah, I know so that boring. is, it's because I know I'm gonna enjoy that. And it's something that I'm fancy. And when I think of a curry, I think, oh, I fancy that type of curry. Whereas oh. quite often you order a curry you don't like. And Very, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm 90% of the time satisfied, whereas you're more like no 70%. Way. No way. I'm, I'm, I'm like most always happy with what I get. Mm. Very rarely do I have a bad dish mm. where everywhere I go. Honestly, you know I do. Debatable. Debatable. Cheers. Thank you. Can we get some sweet and sour and curry sauce, please? Okay, so I just got back and I got my camera. I really want to unbox it now. I did get the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II, probably the most popular vlogging camera that most vloggers use. If you've heard of this, then I'm not surprised because it is so, so popular. So I'm just gonna open it up. I got it actually at a really, really great price. It's normally 500 pound, but I managed to find it for 300 and, I think it's 380 something. It was really, really good. At the moment, I'm using my phone. It just isn't, ooh. It's strange that they've got the LCD screen out that way. That's weird. 
So with this camera, you can actually flip the screen up so you can see from a front view or you can just have it clipped behind. I think you can, can you do it to the side as well? You can do it all the way out like a little stand. So I've just finished editing all of the Patreon videos, all of the Patreon tutorials for this animal series that I did yesterday and in the past sort of few days. And so this is the cat eye one. It's a two hour, 15 minute tutorial. And I also edited the owl eye tutorial and that is one hour, 58 minutes. And also the dog tutorial, which is an hour, 55 minutes. So I just edited all of them for the Patreon series and they're all queued up so I'm just going to let them all export now so that they can go up on Patreon tomorrow or the next day. Okay so just before I get to sleep I want to answer a couple of your guys questions that you commented on some of my previous vlogs and so the first one is what are your tips on starting your own art business? Where do you start? How do you grow and promote your business? And I think the most important thing about growing an online art business is social media. It's really important to get on social media whether that's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and even start your own YouTube channel. It's so important if you want to really progress and scale your art business that you do leverage social media. It's also important to have a business model for what you actually want to do, what your revenue streams going to be. Instead of just putting out content and any old sort of content, really think about what you're trying to do and what you actually want to make your living from. Do you want to be more education based? Do you want to make artwork and sell it to people like your original artwork? Do you want to make commissions for people? Do you want to make personal pieces that make other people happy? It's completely up to you and you need to think about what you want to do and then how you are going to monetize that. So the next question is, is it better to focus on one specific style such as landscapes, portraits, cartoons, etc., as well as one material and sort of medium, whether that's colour pencil, graphite, charcoal, etc., etc.? Or is it okay to experiment with multiple things at the same time? And if you follow my art channel, you probably know that I do a lot of different mediums. I do a lot of different sort of subject matters. And for me, I like to do different things. I think I would get bored just doing one thing in one medium over and over again. So for me, I like experimenting. There are some artists though that have their specific style and they just do a lot of artwork based on that. And when you like see that artwork, you can really tell it's theirs. But it depends on you. There's no right or wrong answer. If you aren't happy with just drawing that one thing and you feel that you want to experiment that is completely fine and so the final question that I want to answer for today is how do you photograph your drawings and do you edit them in Photoshop before doing prints well there's two different ways that I photograph my art when I photograph it for social media I use my DSLR camera and I just sort of set it all up and photograph it that way and just put it on Instagram and Twitter and everything but if I'm actually doing prints then what I do is I scan the artwork and I do edit it in Photoshop so clear up any bits of dust and any hairs and that is what I do I use a really nice scanner I use the Epson v600 scanner and that's really good at getting some really nice rich and bright colors what the hell is my computer doing but anyway guys, that is it for today's vlog. It's coming up to 12 o'clock midnight and I am absolutely exhausted. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a relax and then go to bed. So I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bye everybody.